How's it going guys? I'm Matt Davis with Final Rise and in this video we wanted to do a deep dive into the full array of accessories that we offer for our vests. Now I want to start out by saying that the vests as they come have a lot of built-in organization. It's essentially tiered out to accommodate the needs of different types of hunters. If you're an all-day hunter, we're chucker hunters, we're going to be out all day having places to put everything, first aid, food, all the essentials, it's nice to be able to have a pack that's able to do that. If you're a more minimalistic hunter or maybe you're coming back to the truck more frequently, you're swapping dogs or you're just closer to water so you don't need to carry as much water, we have different vests for that. And so we've kind of tiered that out to really create a platform that caters to each one of those hunting styles. And so these are just complementary to, not essential, uh, but great to have if you have a certain way that you want things to configure. Again, this is a platform and you can turn it into whatever is best for you. Out the gate, we're gonna stop, start by talking about our transmitter pouches. Most people these days are running transmitters, whether it's GPS trackers or simple trainers. Most people are running one at some capacity, so that's an important one to touch on. So we have two styles of transmitter pouches. This is our alpha style pouch. Uh, this is going to fit your 100s, your 200s, your 300s, and any of the shorter stubby type, you know, like a Sport Dog Tech 2.0, those are gonna, gonna fit great in here. Um, we have the 550 model, which is self-explanatory. This is going to accommodate more of the cylindrical, uh, Tritronics, the 550 Pro, um, all those types of training transmitters. Um, and it's also compatible with bear spray. So whether you need it for your transmitter or your hunting bear country, you have the ability to carry those two options. Now, where these attach onto the vest, um, by design, the predominant location is here on the shoulder harness. So on either side of the shoulder harness, we have two uh, horizontal webbing attachment locations. This is designed to sit on the lower location. That way, if you're running a longer antenna, this one's longer than most, um, but it's not gonna be poking you in the face. The back of this is going to secure over the webbing and then this lateral stability strap right here is going to feed across the top of the ladder lock and that's just going to keep it from rocking side to side. And basically it's going to sit probably right about here on most people. So readily accessible. I've got this tension bungee if I need to get it out, but I'm able to look at it, put it back in and my buttons are across the top there. So if I need to intuitively use those, correct a dog, whatnot. I have the ability to do that. This, these two transmitter pouches are compatible with every single one of our final rise systems. And that is because we use the same shoulder harness and the same waist belt universally across all designs. Really all you need is a single webbing location and you're able to attach that as long as it is horizontal. And that would really cover those transmitter pouches in a nutshell. Now we're gonna talk about our accessory pouches. We have our side accessory pouches and our rear accessory pouches. Now these are compatible with the Summit XT and Summit model vests because you need to have the Molly webbing that you can see on the back and the sides here to be able to attach and have those rides securely. Now again, there is organization that is built into these two particular model of vests that these are compatible with, but there's a lot of people that carry extra odds and ends you know again we wanted to just make a simple platform let you build that up or run it as simple as possible and there's a lot of people that have found value in adding ex additional ex external organization first aid kits um, nice putting a puffy jacket in that rear pocket to keep it away from the brush it, i mean you can strap it to the back with jacket lashes but being able to have it securely inside a thousand denier cordura very robust and durable fabric, so it's just gonna protect anything. Um, so to show you where these attach on the vest, um, again, fairly self-explanatory, as I mentioned, side accessory pouches are going to attach onto the side of the game bag. They're gonna sit just like this. And as you notice here, one of the really nice benefits of even adding this additional organization is it's not wider, I have to move my other hand, it's not any wider than the water bottles already are. So it's really not adding additional width and constriction to your system. So say, for example, you were, or restriction, excuse me, if you were pushing through brush, heavy cover, um, you don't want to be wide, right? You, we want this as narrow and compact as possible. So realistically, your bag shouldn't be any wider than you are. And so it's nice to be able to have 
a very slim, slender, organized system that just accommodates whatever your particular needs are. So these accessory pouches are sold as a pair. So when you get two of them, you can put one on either side. And you can also just run a single if you wanted to and attach that to the back of the game bag here. That's a very popular method as well. Um, rear accessory pouch, probably self-explanatory. We have this uh, webbing found on the back of the Summit XT and the Summit Vest, and that is going to attach to those two rows of Molly webbing. Now, one of the things that's important to touch on with these organizational pouches is that adding these or any of our additional accessories is not going to impede the functionality of any other design aspect. So a lot of people ask, hey, if I want to run jacket lashes and a rear accessory pouch, can I do that? The answer is absolutely yes. So, you know, we have on the XT, we have the jacket lashes that are sewn in. Uh, they're a modular option that are compatible with all the other vests. I'll talk about that in a second. But for visual sake, we'll say you attach your rear accessory pouch on the back here. Great, my jacket lashes are here. Now if I have a, um, a soft shell or any type of additional layer, I can simply secure that on top of this. And this pocket provides a nice bench for that to rest on. It's going to keep that weight high on your back and it's fully accessible because I have this horseshoe zipper that goes around the front here. So even with something on top of it, I can unzip that, get into my pocket if I need to, zip it closed, and I don't have to dismantle my entire system to do that. Next, we're going to talk about our jacket lashes. Now, on the Summit XT, that is a sewn-in and included feature, as you can see here. Uh, very nice, and the, the feature or design aspect behind that was to be able to securely carry an additional layer in the field. We can all relate to getting out of the truck. It's early in the morning. It's cool. Maybe we throw on a sweater, maybe we throw on a vest. We get walking, sun comes up, it warms up. We need to be able to shed that layer and put that away so we can keep hunting. Now, me personally, I don't want to be putting my nice soft shell vest or whatever inside the game bag where there's gunk, dirt, blood, all those different things. And I'd also don't want to be chewing up the real estate in my game bag that, you know, if I had a great day of field, I don't want a a bird to potentially fall out. Now, not that it's going to, but if you're running a really big bulky layer, the best and most secure place to be able to attach that is the back here. And so we have two straps instead of a single strap that's going to secure it on the side. You can simply just roll it up so it looks like a beach towel basically, clip it in there. It's going to ride nice and high and tight on your back. It's going to keep that nice and secure. You're not going to lose it. They are compatible with all of our vest models. So whether that's the XT that they're included on or the Summit, the Legacy, and the Sidekick, every single one of those vests has a, an attachment point or loops on the back of the game bag where you can loop these through. It's got a quick release buckle, so it's very easy to open that up, put your layer in, cinch it securely in place, and you're on your way. Keep that jacket clean, keep it secure, don't lose it. Use some jacket lashes. Continuing on the trend of organization, these are our new mesh organizational pouches. These were designed to be able to allow you to group together certain things that need to be together in your vest. What I mean by that is I'm talking about a first aid kit. I'm talking about maybe some food or snacks or different things that you just kind of want grouped together for the day. A lot of times it's easy to have a big pocket and we just throw a bunch of different loose stuff in there. Me personally, I like knowing that, hey, all of my first aid stuff is in this pouch. I don't have to go digging through multiple pouches to get to that. I'm able to know exactly where it's at, get to it quickly, and be able to utilize it. This is the same fabric we actually use that goes against on your back, so it's able to breathe. This is nice because I can see what is inside of it. If I'm running multiple of these, I'll probably have a good idea of where it's at in my vest, but if somebody else needs to get something out of my, out of my system, it's nice for them to be able to see what's in here. If I did use something and I need to replenish that, maybe it was maybe I took a lighter out of here, maybe I used some bat wrap, whatever, I know that I need to replace that. So I'm just big on being able to have a visual check and the mesh pockets allow you to do that. This is designed in a size that it's going to fit perfectly on the inside of the built-in zipper pouch that's on the side of the Summit XT and the Summit vest. This is also going to fit into the rear triangle. This zipper is found on all the full-size vests. And then if you're running a sidekick, you've got that big dual zipper organizational pocket on the back. This fits in there great. So another great way to organize your stuff, put it together. Again, I'm just, I'm huge on organization and these mesh pockets are fantastic. 
Next, we're gonna dive into kind of some of the more unique um, accessories that we have that again, they kind of allow you a little bit more flexibility within your system. So the one thing I wanted to touch on very first are our modular panels. Now this vest already has orange on it, but there's a lot of people that like running a earth tone vest. Maybe it's our Ranger Brown, maybe it's the brown and tan, and you're predominantly hunting in a state that doesn't require it, or you're using it as a turkey hunting vest, but then you're gonna go to a state that orange is required, or maybe you're going on just a particular trip, you just wanna be more visible. Maybe there's more people, you're out with a couple of your buddies. This modular panel essentially eliminates the need for you to go buy a, an entire new vest, and it's going to simply attach onto the back here and make that entire panel, which realistically is the most visible part of the vest anyways. This is gonna be compatible with both the Summit and the Summit XT vest because it does require a row of molly webbing on the bottom here for that to secure to. Really leaning into the flexibility of those Summit systems, this modular panel is a great accessory to add to your lineup. Next, we're gonna dive into a couple of um, unique accessories and talk a little bit about those. And the first one I wanted to cover was our sidearm holster. This is a different design concept than really anything else that's out on the market because again, to the point that I made earlier, we don't want you to have to pick or choose what accessories you're going to use and we want everything to work together cohesively. So the way that this was designed, instead of using a stiff, rigid kydex or sheeting of any source, we're using a four millimeter neoprene to essentially provide security and protection to the firearm. But this is going to attach on the side of the shell pouch and sit behind your shell pocket. And that allows you to still continue using your shell pocket you don't have to drop off a water bottle holder to use this instead. And everything is just very, very streamlined and minimal. And really our goal with this, with this sidearm holster was to provide comfort and security. Realistically, sidearm usage in the field is very, very minimal. And so for those of us that carry it, maybe we're hunting on the border, maybe we're hunting somewhere where there's bears or wolves or whatever personal reason we have for wanting to carry a firearm, it's nice to be able to have that secure and out of the way. You can run a right-handed holster on either side if you want it as a cross draw, you put a right-handed holster on your left and vice versa for a left-handed holster. But it's a great and very secure way to be able to comfortably carry a sidearm and not have to drop something else off of your waist belt. You don't have to pick and choose. Everything works together very, very well. The next thing we're gonna talk about in this video is we're gonna talk about reloading or shell organization. Now, every vest is obviously going to come with shell pouches. Uh, there's some differences between those. We won't cover that here, but a lot of people want shell loops and there's a lot of people that don't want shell loops. So what we've done is designed a modular way to be able to either add shell loops or remove them or basically have other ways of reloading. And I'll talk a little bit about that before I confuse you any further. So we have these two different shell loop designs. Um, this particular one is designed for the Summit vest. This is going to attach to the Molly webbing that is found on the exterior face of the shell pouch. So you'll have three pouches readily accessible. If you're hunting covey birds or you want some buckshot, maybe there's coyotes where you're hunting and you wanna shoot some coyotes whatever that looks like, you're able to have those. You can put one on either side if you would like or just run a single one as well. Keeps it really simple. Great way to carry additional shells for personal defense or quick reloading. Now on the Summit XT, this particular one is designed to attach to the Velcro that is found on the inside of the shell pouch. And so this is for four shells, this is for three. Um, but there's a lot of guys that maybe you're going on a, a, a walk in the grouse woods and shooting four shells is gonna be a busy hunt, you know? So instead of having loose shells in the bottom, you can keep those nice and secure. Another benefit of these XT shell loops is being able to have different shot sizes available. Say, for example, you're hunting some thick cover, maybe the birds are acting particularly jumpy that day, and it's nice to be able to have maybe some six or five shot. You can have a handful of those shells organized and secure out of the way so you don't have to fish through your other shells to get to them. You can just reach down, load some of these up, and you're good to go. These shell loops will hold and accommodate 
a 28 through a 12 gauge. Uh, when they're securely attached there, they lay very flat and it's gonna give enough surface contact to be able to carry that. I'm a big 28 gauge guy, so naturally we wanted to be able to uh, make sure that those secured those shells. So those two particular designs are des designed to attach to the shell pouches themselves, but because not all of our vests have the ability to have th these to attach to them, we created our two shell holder. And this is just exactly what it sounds like. It's for designed to hold two shells. And this is going to attach onto the front of your waist belt here. And the really nice thing about this, and I, this is personally what I prefer. This is what I run for quick reloading because I know I'm probably not gonna get more than two or one shells into my gun. If there's an overly large covey or if I'm looking for a quick reload, I may get one good shot off in addition to the two that were in my double guns. But I shoot double guns, and so I don't need more than two shells, even if I was to get both of them loaded. And so where that sits on your hip, it's so nice when you're able to shoot and you break your gun, your hand's already right at the front of your waist belt, right? So your hands are naturally there. I'm able to reach down, scoop those out, put them in the tubes, close the action. If I'm lucky to get another shot, maybe there's a popcorn bird that didn't flush with the initial covey, I'm ready and maybe I'll put another bird in the bag. Moving on, one of the things I wanted to talk about is our gun stock holder. Um, this is a very simple, simple product. I actually learned this from a, a good friend that had his mother make one for him and I saw it and I said, man, that's a great idea. I love the concept of being able to rest my gun stock, take a little bit of the weight off of my arms if I'm carrying a really nice gun, I only own a few of them. Uh, most of them are glorified walking sticks. Um, but being able to have some of those wood butt plated guns or just a gun that you want to take good care of, you don't want to put it on your boot, you don't want to put it on the ground, but you want to be able to set it down or at least maybe take some of that pressure off your shoulders if you're in the field for a long time. This is going to loop onto the front of this waist belt here. Very simple. It'll feed through like this and it's going to hang off the front. And that's just going to allow you to basically, if you're holding your gun, put that butt stock in there. You can stop. If you're chucker hunting, you can catch your breath. Or if you're on a long walk, you can stop and you can catch your breath and just relax a little bit more. This is also really nice if you like dove hunting. It's great if you've got, you know, I, I run my sidekick just without the shoulder harness. And I can actually have that sitting on the front and I can rest my gun in it. So my gun's basically in my hand ready to go even though I'm sitting on a bucket. That loop hangs out the front through my groin area. I'm able to set the gun there and I'm ready to rock and roll. So very simple product, but uh, it's nice for the guns that I don't want to put the recoil pad on a on lava rock. I can rest it in there and uh, go about my day. I call them a bird tote. My little niece calls them a bird toe holder. Cute little gal. Uh, but these are designed to be able to essentially string up your birds, whether you want to hang the bird by the head or by the feet. Or if you're a guide and you're hunting preserve, it's a great way to be able to add additional carrying capacity into your vest. This carabiner really is going to clip on about anywhere. You can clip it onto the front. I prefer to use this more so exclusively for taking nice field photos. I love a good tailgate photo, but I also love being able to be out in the woods and display my birds in all their beauty and put out you know tasteful images and videos that respect the birds that we're shooting. And I think this is a really, really nice way to be able to do that. Me personally, I take advantage of the loop that is found on the inside of the vest here. Um, this is the, where your bladder attaches on the back right here. And the spacing allows me to flip that from the inside out. And I can either clip it into this plastic clip or I can feed the carabiner through the webbing loop right here. So it just allows me to hang my vest up on a tree branch or on an old fence post or something like that, have my birds proudly displayed off the back, you know, be able to sit my dog down, maybe bounce the shotgun in there and just take a really nice picture to share with my friends. Um, next up, we're gonna talk about the water bladder. I will say that realistically, any water bladder is going to be able to fit inside of our final rise system. The way it's designed is very, very minimal. There's a simple hard plastic clip at the top and all you would need is to have some type of water bladder that has a hard clip at the top, whether that'll clip into this or your bladder can clip into the webbing there. Uh, but this particular one works fantastic. It fits perfectly inside our vest, which is why we offer it. Uh, this is a two liter bladder. I like these insulated hoses because late season, if I'm carrying a bladder, if I'm hunting multiple dogs and I need to be able to have that water, that insulated hose is gonna keep that from freezing. 
And then on the bottom, we have a pull and chew valve. So you can either push it in, pull it out, jump on it. Very, very minimal, straightforward. Most people know what a bladder is, but we do offer one if you would like one that works fantastic with your final rise system. We're gonna talk about um, some of the additional pouch options that we have for non-hunting season. Now, some people may run this during hunting season, uh, but their primary design was to allow users to have additional uses for their vests during the off season. Maybe that's training, maybe that's going to the range and practicing and creating some additional accessories that become plug and play and again, leverage and provide more value from your final rise system. So the first pocket we'll talk about, this is a range pouch as uh, simple in concept, very um, kind of standard design, if you will. We have a larger pouch on the back end here. You're able to put your live shells in a, in a box, leave them in there, keep them organized. As you're shooting, you're able to throw the extra ones in the front there. If you want, you can drop a scorecard in here. You can drop a pencil in there. And these are plug and play on the waist belt of any of our final rise vests. The final pouch to talk about, again, mentioning the ability to train. One of my favorite things or my favorite ways to run my sidekick vest in the off season is setting it up to train. Now it's usually hot, so I can remove the modular shoulder harness. I can wear it almost as if it was a fanny pack. And then I can take advantage of these mesh live bird game pouches. So if I need to be able to have a couple of pigeons, it's nice. I can run one of these on either side. It's going to carry two pigeons in there. You just run those vertically or three to four quail if you're using quail to train. You know, you can still run a larger bag, but if you need that emergency bird or you need a quick reward bird to throw for your dog, it's nice just having one on your hip. Give the dog a bird and go about your way. It's made out of a very nice durable mesh that's going to make sure it's breathing, keeping your birds alive while you're training with them, even when it's hot during the summer. And then it has a very long, deep cover. So once you pull a bird out, flips back down, it's going to hold secure. Birds aren't going to be able to crawl out the top and escape while you're out training. Well, if I haven't worn you out on all the stuff that we offered, hopefully, hopefully it hasn't been overwhelming. Hopefully it was digestible and hopefully we answered a lot of the questions that you have. Again, the vests as they come in their simplest form are fantastic. A lot of people just run them as is and that's great. But having these additional options to cater to your particular hunting style, we understand as passionate wing shooters that no two people hunt the same. So this is set up again to give you the freedom you need and have you have more fun in the field. Thanks for watching. God bless.